for me, it's just been about the people that I see affected by this every day. Um, you know, whenever fourth graders used to come to visit the state house when we were down the street, um, and I would get to interact with them, one of the questions, they would always ask two questions, right? One was, what's your favorite color? For some reason, fourth graders are all obsessed with what the governor's favorite color is. Um, and second was, um, what's the best part of being governor? And I would give the same answer all the time. The best part of being governor is that you wake up every morning having the chance to do something great. You don't do something great every day because you're human, but you have the chance to do something great. And so what's been clear to me is that uh, this is an issue that I've cared about for much longer than the time I became governor. You know, I went on the board at Daytop Village in Mendham, which is an inpatient adolescent drug treatment facility, um, in 1998, so nearly 20 years ago. And so this is something that I've cared about for a very long time and something that our administration has been working on for a very long time. But as this crisis has increased, the need for attention has increased even more and, and resources increased even more. And so how do I feel? I mean, I, I just feel grateful that there are people who are listening and acting. And um, as Kellyanne said, you know, the president and I talked a lot about this on the campaign trail in New Hampshire, because as I talked about it and, and a video or two that I did got a lot of national attention, um, we're friends, and even when we were running against each other, we were friends. And he would talk to me about this issue when we would be at debates or other campaign events where we had joint appearances. Um, and I know that he cares deeply about this issue too, so now to have my friend, the president, um, who cares deeply about this issue, um, giving me the opportunity to take a leadership role on it is a, I consider it a great gift. I'm grateful for the opportunity, and hopefully that what we do here together um, can help to save lives. If we do that, then I will have fulfilled what I said to those kids, which is you have a chance every day to do something great. And hopefully this will be one of those things that ultimately will fall into that category.